Welcome to another EFIT X version 8 tutorial. In the first tutorial, we went over the basics on how to create an icon on your home screen. So if you haven't done so, please watch the first tutorial and get that icon on your home screen. So go, let's go ahead and launch EFIT X. And it goes to the home page and we are going to log in and we're going to see our username and password is already saved. On uh, iPhone, you would probably have to give your fingerprint but on Android, you can just press enter and it will take you to the home screen on full screen mode. So we have our home page. Uh, the thing that I didn't cover in the introductory tutorial video is changing themes and settings. So let's go over that right now. So let's go ahead and touch the top right hand corner. Touch the sub menu on the right hand side and let's go into settings. So this is a new user. Um, there are no settings. So let's go ahead and input some of these settings. Um, you can see there's a range between 20 and 200. If you're a very sedentary beginner client, you want to use lower settings. 100 is kind of like the moderate setting for everybody, except for lifestyle and activity. This is based on calories you expend based on your regular activity. So there's a range between 100 and 800. If you don't know, just put 400. Okay, so these are pretty much um, ideal settings for the beginner. And we could either save changes here or we could scroll down and do a couple more uh, uh, settings input about a couple more settings so if you don't know your body type no big deal leave it blank a lot of these settings are for um, coaches so coaches could access this and do them for you if you don't know your body per fat percentage no big deal at all either so that's all I'm going to put it input is a few training settings and a few biometrics and let's go ahead and save changes and everything has been updated. Okay, so that's how you change your settings. Let's go back to the top menu and let's change our theme. Right now it's in a snow theme. Um, let's go ahead and change it to something more colorful. How about Paradise Purple? So we selected that item. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom, update. And it says press logo to activate theme. And bam, you are set with your new theme. Okay, so that's how you change your theme and change your settings. Now we can get into weights. As you can see here, there, there's a box that says muscles recently trained and the, everything is gray. And you can see the legend down here, not trained for over 10 days. So as you input items, you'll see the colors change on this screen. Now scroll down and you see suggestive, suggested exercises. It says no suggested suggestions available select a program here um, you'll get other graphs that are going to be consistently changing as you input more data into the interface okay so we're going to go ahead and hit our shortcut up here up here and that's our weight module and the thing i want to show you is there are five different ways you could input exercises into this weight module so the most common one is to input through history. So we don't have history because this is a new user. So first of all, you're going to hit this plus button and you have three input boxes. First one is history. We don't have history. So we're not going to use that one. Second option, second box here is catalog. So let's say I do um, a deadlift. I could just type in dead, hit search, and we get results. We get five different results from the eFedEx catalog and let's go ahead and choose one of these. I'm going to choose the fourth one. You could watch a video if you like, okay, on how to perform it. But I'm not going to watch that video right now. So let's go ahead and choose deadlift barbell and it automatically puts it in. Okay, so that's how you input it from the catalog. Now, if you want to create something, you have that third box where you could do I uh, maybe lunge to hip raise okay i just made up this exercise and hit your plus sign and it'll automatically input that for you okay so let's go ahead and input another one through our catalog let's type in a bench or let's type in chest as a category so you could type in the name of the exercise with a simple one word you don't want to use phrases just simple few characters of that word uh, chest and we get a bunch of checks exercises we could do let's go ahead and put push-ups okay and, and it's that simple 
Now, I just showed you two different ways of inputting an exercise. Now that we have a history, we could use this history box and type in push for push-ups, and now you'll see there's actual results. Now, when you do have a history, it'll give you a rundown of how many, what you've done previously, the amount of reps, amount of weight you've performed, and if you like it, you just hit this plus button and it'll automatically put it into your journal. Okay, so now that we've gone over three different methods, I'm going to show you the fourth method is on the bottom, which is going to be previous. However, it doesn't show any results because we haven't actually confirmed any amounts. So let's say on the deadlift, we start with 135 and we did 12 reps. Um, on Android, you will get this nice green button on the bottom, bottom right-hand corner. On iPhone, you will get a button around here that will pop up to save. So we're gonna go ahead and save. And now you could look on the bottom, we have a previous entry. So if we wanna input this again uh, on a different day, let's say tomorrow, and you want input deadlifts, you could actually input it with a shortcut button on the bottom. Okay, so four different ways you could input exercises. Um, on the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to input through a program. So check out the next tutorial.